And they're saying I'm back. I'd agree with that. I just take my time with all this shit. I still believe in that. I had someone tell me I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. Drake headlines. Yeah, I needed that. Sometimes we all need that. We need to be reminded that um we have been gone too long or we're missed or um you know like you fell off right because when you fall off we all fall off sometimes whether it's for a few minutes a few weeks a few months a few years but um the measure of a man is not whether or not or how many times he falls off. It's, it's how many times he gets back up and stands back up and what he does when he stands back up. The impact, the value he brings when he stands back up. I am Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And somebody just told me that you fell off. And now I'm back. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of raw. So, the notion of falling off is always relative to someone's perception or perspective, okay? So, if you don't see somebody doing certain things or hear of somebody doing certain things through the grapevine, he say, she say, he say, or the internet, specifically, of course, the internet, right? If you don't post every single thing you're doing, if you don't constantly update people on everything that you're doing and you're, you're up to, the perception to many people is that you're not doing anything. <laughs> right? You just don't have a life at all. You know, you fell off. Or you just mundane. You, you're in a a rut somewhere that you know and if and then on the contrary if you're posting everything every little thing from you know what cereal you're about to eat to you know you know how you do your laundry you know how you fold your clothes before you go to bed then you're you you you're you're active you're you're um you're present your 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 living life, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And um this is what the social media uh world has done to us. It's created a a skewed perception and like perspective and opinion of people's lives. Don't let anyone date you. And this is, you know, for men and women, but, you know, more specifically for men. Don't let anyone date you, King. Because, number one, we got more time. Men mature at a, a slower pace and at a later date than women. And when I say mature, I mean mature in every way. 
but most importantly, mentally and financially. We get older. As we get older, we get wiser. As we get older, we uh, start hitting our financial stride and start making more money. You know, it's around 40 years old is when men start, you know, um, figuring out how to make more money or rising in their respective career or job. You know, um, it takes time to rise to a certain level of making a certain type of money. And son, pardon his son. She's shining on me. God bless. So I said all that to say, you know, don't let anybody date you. Okay? Don't let anybody put a time frame on you and what your your structure and your on what your plan is. Don't deviate from the plan and don't don't uh let anybody rush you. Never mind what's going on out there, never mind what their perception is, never mind what they think. While you're working your plan, first of all, if you have a plan and you're working your plan, you shouldn't be telling everybody in the first place. Every little step you make and every little step you take. This ain't Bobby Brown. You, you take what I'm saying? You're supposed to move in silence as as much as possible until until you're able to show the results because see most people are not going to understand the grind in the first place unless they're about the grind so those that are about the grind you see here's the secret those that are about the grind and they're hustlers and they workers and they're movers and shakers and they're about getting you know they're about getting shit done you don't have to explain the process to them because they already know and, and the people that you need to explain, that you feel you need to show the process to, they're not going to, you know, most of them are not going to even put in the effort and the time to to implement the steps you took to, you know, to get to, to, to reach the goals in the first place. They're lazy. They're not, they're uninspired. They're not, they're living in a, a, a different type of existence. They're, you're just really You're just there for their entertainment They're just here for entertainment They're not here to learn how to do anything They're not here to um, Actually get the information And apply it So It's usually a waste Trying to show everybody Every step of everything You you need to you need to charge for that You know When you get to a level of expertise And you know you don't. You need to charge people for showing them exactly how to do something because that's how you know who's serious about learning how to do something. Those who will invest their time, not only their time, but their, their dollar. The same way they invest their dollar in anything else that's important to them. So, in closing, do not let anyone date you and tell you you don't have enough time and that you're getting too old or you're um, moving too slow, make sure you're moving. There's an old saying, slow money is better than no money, right? Be as consistent as possible with your plan. Uh, move in silence as much as possible. Uh, don't be afraid to show what you're doing but you don't have to show every little thing you got people out here that do not want to see you successful they want to stop your plan they want to interrupt your flow they want to suck your energy because they don't have nothing going on in their life or they don't want to see you win okay so the haters are always going to be there they're vampires. They cast spells on you with their mouth. Talk down on your name. All of this stuff is dangerous when you're moving in a positive direction. Be very careful who you share 
your life with and share your plans and goals with, okay? Because they will date you. They will date you and they will tell you that, you know, it's all over for you. So you need to just, you know, forget all of that and get down with, you know, my program over here or my thought process over here because I wasn't able to do those things. I wasn't able to do certain things with the time I was given. So, you know, you in the same position as me. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't listen to that. Don't listen to them. Stay focused. Stay focused, Kings. Don't let them date you. Set a goal. Structure a plan. Move forward and never stop. Don't stop. Believe in yourself. Don't stop. And I promise you, I'll see you at the top. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur. And once again, these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.